Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and it's Debsy, and pleased to be, it's Debsy. That's me, boop, Debsy. Hey guys, happy Sunday, and listen, I hope everybody is having a great week and weekend. I hope everybody had a great weekend. If not a great weekend, then at least a good weekend. And I'm gonna do something different tonight. Tonight, I'm not doing the weekly review and reset because I have a special guest. Do you want to reveal yourself? Mom. Is it Dolly? It's Dolly and Jack. So I got this box and we are going to be taking a culinary adventure to, where are we going? We're going to Scandinavia. Ooh. So, you know, I'm gonna be reviewing the Unbox. When you get your yum box, you get this. It's a map. It tells you all the different places these snacks are from. Flip it around. It gives you the order of your snacks. You can rank them and you can tell them which is your favorite yum, the worst yum, and the weirdest yum. So here we go. You also get these cool little stickers right there. And without further ado, we're going to jump into Scandinavia. So the first thing we're going to be trying is these tomato and spice tomato and spice potato snack they are super crispy cheesy with an acidic tang nothing like an acidic tang so let's try them i don't know they look like they're here we go they look like they're definitely light you can see the flavor look at that flavor oh that's a crispy Mm. I can say they're crispy. I don't get that much flavor. Mm -hmm. what? I don't get a whole lot of flavor either. Mm -mm. I mean, they're not terrible, but no, they're yeah, they're not that much flavor. Okay, next up is the. Cocoa filled oat cookies. These are from, did I say Denmark? Denmark. So here we go. Original oat cookies with cocoa filling. Ooh, these are big. So here we go. Okay, there we go. There, see? I don't know how much oat filling is. I don't know how much filling is in there though. Let me see. Okay, let's see. bad. Not bad at all. No. Yeah, those are okay. Yeah. I like them better than a potato chip. Yeah. Okay. Those weren't bad. Okay, next up we have another potato chip. Oh. Dill and chive potato chips. Dolly's excited. No, I'm not. Ola. It's dill, dill and grass lock. Here we go. Okay, it's Scandinavia's favorite flavor. So here we go. We're trying it. Uh, have you ever smelled or tasted a spice and immediately associated with a particular cuisine? Well, for if you, well for our, for Scandinavia, it's dill. Dill's that herb. I do like dill. These aren't that bad. They aren't that bad, but they aren't that good either. The face that Dolly gave was... No. <laughs> she wasn't impressed. Okay. Yeah. Next up, we have Cool Hallen Scully. It is... It is raspberry gummy skulls. So here we go. You're eating a gummy skull. Ooh, it could... That could definitely be a candle. That, that's a smell. That's a smell that could be a candle. Okay, here we go. I don't know how gummy these are. Like gummy for me, look, it looks like a molar, yeah. except for this. Wow, I don't like them at all. No, 
No, no, no. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I like it. Sweet. Mm. No. Oh my no. The thing that I like about it mm. Mm. is I see I the thing I like about it is the instant like tartness. Ah. I like the tartness. But it's not gummy enough. Like it's mm -mm. it tastes like it's stale. Not gummy. Like at it's all. old. Okay. Next up in this month's um oh here it is. In this month's yum bag, they gave us three different things to try. So the first one is the chocolatey cocoa dough, co cookie dough, <laughs> chocolatey cookie dough balls. So here it is. We're gonna pass it over. I don't know, so far this box, I thought this box was gonna be a real winner. So here we go, let's see. Cookie dough? Not bad. No. No, not bad. Mm -mm. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. That actually, that, good. that might be my favorite thing so far. Okay, next up we have, oh, okay. Here's another thing from the bag. This one, I think I'm gonna pass one. Toffee. It is gingerbread toffee. I'm passing. Um, okay, so we're both passing on it. It says, when it comes to gingerbread, the U.S. and Sweden have a lot in common. Swedish gingerbread is a traditional holiday treat considered essential at Christmas parties. Okay. So there we go. Neither one of us are trying it. No. Because listen, listen. That's, that screams broken tooth. Okay. Next up is... Jalapeno, pepper, popcorn. Here we go. Taste jalapeno. This, there's absolutely no like Scandinavian words on here. No, okay. It's made in Denmark. Known for its jalapenos. Okay. <laughs> you didn't know that? No. Well, listen, jalapeno popcorn. Spiced with seasoning from central Denmark. Yeah. How is it? Is it real spicy? Did you get some? Did you get it on the front of your tongue? The tiniest bit. Put it on the front of your tongue. I got some, see, oh, no, I, I got some in the front of my tongue, on my tongue. I did. I did. I got a big bit of it. Okay. Next up, I'm going to get Dolly drunk. So drunk in love. So here's what we're going to. We are next going to be trying rum iced, rum icing coated cookies. Dolly's going to get drunk in love. Ooh, woo, woo. Okay. So Karen Wolf. They are made in Denmark as well. Okay, let's take a pretty looking one. So, well, none of them are pretty, so let's do this. They're bite sized. Here we go. There. Oh. No. With rum flavored icing. Well. Where's the rum? No, yeah, that's not. Right size cookie with rum flavored icing. I don't I don't think it's I mean it's just a cookie. It says crumbly yeah. cookies with decadent rum flavor. In Denmark, mm. sweets are practically a national pastime. Well. 
In fact, it's likely, it's likely you've already tasted Danish cookies without even knowing it. You know those big tins of butter cookies you see during the holidays? And then, listen, I was just going to say this, Mom. And that said, the tin should be full of cookies, but it's actually full of sewing supplies. Mm. It says it right there. Yes. And it says, and don't worry, you won't find your grandma's sewing kit in this box. Listen, when you come over this house, here's that's one thing that you would find. But also, over at this house, if you're looking in, in butter containers for butter, sometimes you might not find butter. Okay, next up we have the browned butter truffles. Meet Sweden's secret ingredient. Oh no, I'm gonna have to give them to Dolly first. She's gonna try it and then she's gonna tell me if it's hard. That's what she said, okay. Hard? No. Are you sure? I'm biting them. There's no hardness inside. No. That's what she said. Okay, let's try it. Here it is. No, it's not hard. Did you get a taste of nothing? The secret spice that makes all oh, Swedish nice. food delicious isn't a spice at all. If you haven't guessed by the name of this yum, we'll tell you it's brown butter. Okay. Oh, brown butter's good. Let's see, look. No, I don't. I wasn't in any place. I don't know that I particularly taste anything like mm -hmm. different. Okay. Um, the last treat that we have, it is this. It's a raspberry filled dark chocolate bar. There it is. Okay. And it says with Danish jammy filling for max indulgence. Maximum indulgence. Let's try and get it out of here. That's what she said. Okay. Oh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to like this. Now, look, do you guys see? Because this reminds me of that Turkish delight that I did not like. That has the gel on the inside. Okay. I don't like that. No. I don't like that. Neither do I. It's dark chocolate bar with raspberry filling. No. No. But it's a jelly. Like it's. Yeah. Mm. It's when it's a jelly and it's not like just oozing. No. Okay. This I'm I'm gonna have to say the treats. This box is, box is disappointing. Yes. yes. I thought it was gonna be one of the better one good. of the better boxes. The boxes and so the last thing that they give you is this game. It's G N A V Ganav. So here it is. I think I'm actually gonna keep this one mm -hmm. because, and I say that because we're going to give all of these leftovers to my brother Kevin and his family. Um, because I always say that. Uh, number one, we don't need this stuff laying around the house. And number two, I think that um, the Yums box is, I think it's a nice activity for the family to do because you get you get to taste things from around the world. You get to learn about different countries. I think it's I think it's a nice present for a family. And this is this is one of Scandinavia's oldest games. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to play this. And maybe I one night, say, I can't me and Dolly. I, I can't say that I really love any of them here. Me and Dolly will try and play this. Um, what would you say your favorite thing was? Maybe this cookie. I don't know. That was her favorite. Yeah. My favorite thing was the um, 
the 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 um the chocolate ball with the cookie dough. Well, yeah. there, and then second, be, close second was this. Nothing was really, this cookie. That really was this cookie. The weirdest flavor. What was the weirdest flavor for you? I don't know that there were any that weird. That one that I just spit out, that chocolate, that last one here. That, this this thing, one. This thing. Oh, that. Yeah. The weirdest. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to guess your worst was this one. Your worst was oh, the yeah. Oh, yeah. gummy skull. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. All in all, um, Scandinavia really Scandinavia was disappointing. I really was expecting it to be a lot oh, better. Like a lot better. So there we go. Um, oh. Can, here's, a, here's a... If you look through here, here's the... Um, here's a recipe for Danish pork stew. Okay. I will go through. I will look at this. I'm not going to mark this book up because um, maybe my, because yeah, go ahead. Because maybe my, um, my brother might want to, might want to do this. Okay. So that was the universal yums for this month. Um, let me know in the comments, which one of these you would have enjoyed which one you would have hated, um, which one you thought was the weirdest. And with that being said, uh, if nobody told you yet today, they probably should have because it's almost eight o'clock when this is going up. Um, I love you, your love seen and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, positivity, and understanding out there. Take care of one another. Listen, say it all the time. No matter where you're at, do two things. Number one, be aware of your surroundings. Number two, always stay safe. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. There's going to be a special Man Crush Monday. That's all I'm going to say. And then Tuesday, it is a Tasty Tuesday. So then Wednesday, I will see you for a recap of the Rural Housewives of Salt Lake City. So everybody have a great evening. Dolly, do you want to say anything? Toodaloo. Doodles. So, bye, guys. I will see you again. Have a great week, and bye. Bye, guys.